ninja fans ninja boots here today's a special day and i'm going to show you why right now with the advent of movie magic i now have magically transported my next set of mods for my kawasaki ninja 300 um, and you're going to ask now what are these mods now obviously you see a k and filter so we're going to do an unboxing so uh Let's just find out what we got here. Anyway, let's get rid of all this shit. And now, let's check this out. This is a K&N drop-in filter. Now, it's just a standard replacement for the Ninja 300. Quickly, not a lot of time on this one, but I am going to show it to you. I actually got this in about a week before I get the other stuff in, so it's been sitting here. But, I can't install it yet until I put all this other shit on here. So, anyway... Comes in the box, high flow converter. I'm not going to read the shit. I expect you guys can read. You know what the hell this is. This is a drop in filter. Let's find out. Let's just get this shit out of here. So, here's your box. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read that shit to you. Anyway, I uh, want even more power. Yeah, right. Who cares? Anyway, you get your standard freaking crazy rice burner stickers. Sorry, that's all these stickers are. Stop doing that discard for anyone that would want to put that on there. Uh, anyway, we're going to just throw that shit out. We'll put it on like the computer case. Instructions. How to put it in case you don't know how to do that. Here is your filter recharger seal. Oh. I take that back. This is sealing grease. Apparently you need that. So, anyway, here's your air filter. It's in the cellophane wrapping. I'm not going to take it out just yet. It's standard. Have you ever seen a Canaan air filter? You know, it's... Standard oil type filter, I guess. Uh, nice little rubber seal. Feels kind of greasy on it already. So, anyway, high flow air filter to make way for all the other mods. So, Canon air filter. Here it is. Sealing grease. Um, okay, now on to the next one. Okay, this next one right here is uh, a little box. You might see something familiar on it. Uh, it's Area P, AP, Area P, no limits. Um, I've actually um, taken this out of the big box you see here just because this deserves to be separated because it is if I would have ordered it just from them They would have came with this but I got two things so probably know what the second one is but or the third item I I've gotten today is but we're gonna go over this right here because this one's special and without this and everything else does not work so Open this bad boy up. I've already pre-opened it up and I promise you nothing in here besides one of these freaking bubble wrap that uh is already lying victim at my work uh, trash can um is in here everything that's in here is in here so your bubble wrap to do whatever here's what we got here we have an area p area p fuel moto uh, micro efi tuner okay by dynajet okay this is the ecu tuner that you hear everyone talking about now just real quickly there's the tuner itself there's a Velcro uh, to stick it on. Um, there are some stickers. These are actually kind of cool. But again, I'm not putting them on the bike. Sorry, guys. I tend to not do that stuff. These are going on other stuff. A USB cable uh, to hook it up. There should be a USB outlet. Oh. USB somewhere. Pretty sure there's a USB. Oh, it's right in there. Okay, so anyway, get a USB cable for it. So let's get this stuff all prettified. Uh, your insulation disc so you can uh, tune it on a go and uh, there you go here's your installing installation instructions um, seems pretty good I mean it's it's gonna be straightforward I'm telling you I mean it's already got the harnesses and stuff here plug and play it's a uh, map preloaded by area P and I'll tell you what that means here in a minute but uh, I'm gonna tell you real quickly these guys right here are absolutely amazing um, I did a little research. I was going to buy the Dynajet Power Commander, but for some reason, these guys seem more up to speed on the Ninjas 300. Also, we'll tell you that this one's $50 cheaper, 40 50 bucks cheaper, depending on where you're at. I know in the United States, that's the case. Just put that in there. This was a little cheaper. So I went with this. And plus, they know what they're talking about. It's all set up. They are more than able to work with you. So, and they can preload your mod setup to this. So I just tell them what you got. Like, just tell them everything you got, and they'll preload a map for you. And if not, 
they'll work with you to get one and you have this you have the tuning software and stuff like that so here's all that let's put that stuff in and let's not just throw this crazy because this stuff's actually you know this is the heart and soul the brain if you will of what's going on now without further ado oh yeah movie magic time you guys didn't see that okay what's this big box well again it's been pre-opened but it's just to grab that other than that I have not physically looked at anything else in here. It's all wrapped up, so I can't see it. Shipping times is reasonable. Uh, pricing is not bad, but the size of the box, you probably know what it is, plus it's Area P. What else do they make, right? Uh, yes, you would be right. This is my exhaust system. I will quickly tell you that this exhaust system is the Long Quiet Core Carbon Exhaust. Um, I think the long, longer muffler looks a little more... Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know a good phrase for it, but it looks better to me. The shorty one just looks like shorty, you know? It, it feels like it's a scooter one. Now, this one, actually, we have to get up a little bit, so forgive me. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab a stool. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. Uh, a little closer to this and stuff. Okay, and I grabbed the bag because there's peanuts, and I freaking, oh my god, I freaking hate these things. But anyway, you guys don't need to see me take peanuts out, but you want to see me take this shit out of here. So there's a something. Here's a something. There's that. Oh, that's pretty sweet. You know what those are. Oh, that's the muffler. You already know that. So if you order exhaust system, this is everything. This is the long, quiet core exhaust. Okay. Obviously, this is the muffler. You can see it's kind of big. It is pretty long, though. I ain't going to lie. Hope I like it. The standard one's about half that length. We'll see. These look like the header pipes. This looks like something. So let's uh, let's just dive into these bad boys. And we'll see what's up. And there we go. We have uh, we have everything out except for the clamp. Um, there's all the hardware and stuffs in there. Fairing spacer kit. Uh, some clamps. We'll, we'll we should probably dive into this thing. See what it is. Let's uh, let's rip this open. So uh, there's the muffler, there's the header, that's probably looks like the pipe that goes in the muffler, and that's the header to the muffler connector, whatever. Let's see what we got in the bag here. Uh, instructions? Looks like these are pretty thick, I'm not gonna lie. Yay, more stickers! And they're actually real instructions, the big, big book. So this one, the pipe you get, ooh, it's kind of like a, a metal flake looking one. Two metal flakes and two of your standard ones, so. And I'm gonna assume this goes on the actual pipe itself unless there's something oh there's already a sticker on it okay so and you get stickers that's pretty exciting uh your exhaust clamps not gonna take those out uh this goes around your band here for the exhaust clamp uh, i think it was already on there i think i just took it off by accident but anyway uh here's uh, all your hardware so spacer kits your bolts looks like i'm heat heat paint tape some uh high temp tape or whatever to keep it from burning up probably closer to the fairings or the oil I, i'm not really sure yet we'll go over that once we do the installation or you guys just want to see what's in this stuff so here it is folks um ain't much simpler than that i mean the header pipes this is all movable it'll need to be clamped um it has a, it has the springs and stuff in it so uh you can buy an exhaust gaskets from area p i chose not to i chose just to get the uh, just use the stock ones my bike still got low enough miles and still new enough that i think we'll be all right really think so so it looks like uh well, that's the same size i don't know what to doing. looks like that's gonna go in like so it's probably gonna be straight like that of course nothing's tied together so of course, it's going to be kind of weird. Yeah, whatever. This is going to go over that for the, you know, actual muffler. Oh, this exhaust system is kind of crazy. It's hard to believe. This is it. This is all you get. They have way decent welds. It's all stainless steel. Nice, uh, let's look at the quality of the muffler. I love the outlet. Oh, it's even beveled, too. This end here is beveled. I don't know if anyone's ever showed you that. A little nick there. That's all right. I'm not, I'm not picky like some people might be i understand shit happens is it real carbon i want to say it is is 
Either way, construction of the pipe. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks really good. Is that right? Oh yeah, that's a tight fit in it. Oh yeah, this is gonna look good right up there. Real good. We'll just put this thing in there. Sorry, officer. I uh, this is my drug paraphernalia pipe. Very complicated to smoke out of, but well, anyway, uh, this is my gargantuan fuck right here. Anyway, <laughs> this is about as close as I get it. It's nowhere near what it's supposed to look like on the bike. We're going to install this this Sunday. Anyway, a quick unboxing of the mods to come. Uh, very looking forward to this because this should be some good good power increase. Uh, people say they, they see it. Um, anyway, let's put them together. We got the filter. We got the ECU. We got the full exhaust system. I'm really, really excited about doing this. One, this is, this right here is, uh, I'm doing shit, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm really excited. Anyway, guys, quick overview of what we did. Um, sorry if the unboxing wasn't as great. Um, like, subscribe, comment on it. Uh, I'm probably going to do, do this a little more often when I get stuff, you know, because I try to be guinea pig for a lot of things, and I know that when I go out to buy something that nobody has, what I would love to do is just honestly just see what comes in it. Uh, what else do I need to buy? You know, just to, a lot of times just quench my thirst until I get it. So, I mean, I get excited. I, li I like buying things. I like doing things. So if this helps you out uh, for someone that might have the same crap like me, you know, go for it. I didn't see anyone ever show the AOP exhaust system or the fuel moto. And I'll tell you what. Oh, and an air filter. I know people showed installations, but you know what? Fuck it. We're doing it. Ninja Boots here is going to do it. Ninja Boots is going to make a how-to on all this shit. We're just going to do it all together. And I, as I'm doing it, I'll show you stuff. I'm going to start with the uh, ECU tuner. Uh, then we're going to put the air filter on. And we also are going to delete the snorkel. So we'll show you how to do that. Then we're going to do the full exhaust system with the fairings and stuff off of it. And... Uh, we're going to go for a little test ride, and we'll do a follow-up video. Um, well, well, actually, we'll do a test ride and follow-up video uh, later. My Ninja 300 is great. I really hope I get a little more acceleration out of it. Uh, a little more top-end pull is what I'm expecting. And I want it to sound decent. I want to ha get rid of that, um, the, you know, the, the factory sound. I, I want, this is my bike. I'm personalizing it to my taste and my liking. That's why I chose this one. Uh, a lot of people told me to get the shorter one. I wanted the longer one. One, I think it looks better on the bike. And two, uh, I don't need it super loud. I still need it functional. Uh, the louder you make these, the more dirt bikey they sound. Because it's a parallel twin. So there's there's really not. It's never going to sound like what a, a four-cylinder or inline four is ever going to sound like. So I'm just going to work with what it has and just make it a little louder. So anyway, you guys, like, subscribe to the video. Talk to you later. Uh, and you have a great one.